my beautiful friends and family. How are you today? I hope you're all doing wonderful. I am so excited to do this video today. I was invited by Lori Latimer, and if you don't know her, you got to go check her out. I love Lori. She is such a sweet friend, so kind, and I am just so grateful that she asked me. And I definitely want to shout out the host. Her name is, is it? Yeah. Makeup Mom and Son. And her name is Michelle. So I want to say thank you to you, Michelle, for letting me to, allowing me to be a part of this. And I hope I can continue to be a part of this. So excited to do this. Okay. Now this is how it works. You get partnered up with somebody. And I was partnered up with Arlene. And her channel is Unboxings with Arlene. Now, you don't tell them the palette. You don't show them the picture of your palette or anything. You just tell them if it is 9 p.m., 12 p.m., 18 p.m., 24 p.m., etc., etc. You know? Just tell them how many pans are in your palette. Don't tell them the palette. So, that's exciting. And then... This is where it really gets exciting. You, They will randomly pick numbers out of however many shades you have in that palette. And um, they will randomly pick the numbers. But here's the catch. They give you the numbers, but they also tell you where you're going to put that shade. Yes. I'm so excited to do this. So... I chose some shades for Arlene. She chose shades for me. And um, we actually both picked the same amount of shades. I think it was, what is it? 12 shade pan. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, 12 shades. My, pan, my palette has 12 shades and hers had 12, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, let's stop the babbling and let's get on with this. So excited. So the palette that I chose with the it was the Ace Beauty Scarlet Dusk. Which the reason why I picked this is because I recently had a giveaway and Lori Latimer was the winner. And I'm excited for her to, to use this. And I was like, well, why not do a look with mine? Because it's been a while. I don't think I've even done a look with it actually. But we're going to today. And, all right. So, I'm going to put the shades on my hand first. All right. So, I got number two, which is my inner corner. The inner corner of my eye. This beautiful, bright orange. Stunning. And then we got number four. Which, okay, the first shade that I just showed you was Crimson, and the second is number four, and it's Nocturnal. And this goes in my crease. This is going to be fun! Okay, then number eight which is Bahamas. And this is my outer corner. Just looking at this palette is what helped me choose uh, the lipstick. And I'll show you what that is after. Okay, and then number one is the middle of the lid. And it's called Sunset Rose. This is going to be interesting. And then number 12, under the brow, and this is really going to be interesting because it's actually the darkest shade in the pan. So, that's the color combination we got going on. We shall see. Okay, and I, I've already put my P. Louise face on and I put it all the way up to the lid because we're going to go all the way up with it. Because, you know, it would look funny if I had it way down here and then put a bright shade up there, right? 
I am so excited though. I really am. Okay, so we are going to do, we're going to do the crease first. And yesterday I went and I cleaned all my favorite brushes that were dirty. Yesterday afternoon I did that. I mean, I have lots of brushes, but you know, you have your favorites. Okay. So number two is the inner corner. So we're going to do number four, which is the crease. And I'm going to mark it as I do them. So I don't miss any. Okay. So number four crease. And we're going to go in with a little small fluffy brush. And... I'm just going to, let me fix that, my base, kind of clumped up in my crease, hmm. anyway, this is going in the crease. I wanted to do a small fluffy brush so I can blend at the same time because I usually pack it. It's been a while since I've done a look this way. So I'm going to blend it out. I didn't even do my brows. <laughs> I just realized I didn't do my brows, but that's okay. Okay. That's dark, but I like it. I'm used to putting the darker shade. Well, the darkest shade is going to go on my brow, but I'm used to putting it on the outer. So that's why I say this is going to be very interesting. <laughs> but I have faith. This palette is beautiful. And I love it because it's perfect fall shade palette. And like I said, um, Lori just won a giveaway for me. And that was the main. Yeah. The main character. <laughs> so to speak. So I can't wait for her to get it. And I know she loves Ace Beauté as well. So I'm excited for her to use it and create some looks. Maybe her and I will even do a collab together. If we can find the time. Okay. So that is there. And all right, we're going to do number one. We're going to do the middle of the lid. So we're going to go into Sunset Rose. We'll just get that right on there right in the center and I'm going to bring it up a little okay we'll do the other eye Let's do the, we're going to do the uh, outer corner, which is number eight. So this is called Bahamas. I got all the darkest shades. 
which is cool. They're all so pretty. Okay, so we are doing number eight, which is outer. Okay, so. I want to bring this up because we're going to be going under the brow with another shade. So I want to bring this up. All right, so there's my outer. that after I just don't want this video to be super super long so I'm trying to hurry so I'm gonna bring this up I'm gonna do under the brow with that the darkest shade I think it's the darkest it looks to be the darkest it's gonna be pretty though I just wish that I had a beautiful shimmer from this palette. But it's okay. I would just like to, I would love to have a beautiful shimmer to make it pop a little. I'm doing the outer corner, so that's number eight. Okay, I just want to make sure I dip back in the right one. Get a little bit more. I always feel like I do too much on one side and then I have to fix the other to make them match. So we did the crease, the outer, the middle. Now we got to do the inner and then the under the brow. So the I wish that was shimmery, but it's not. All right, so we're gonna do the inner, which is this beautiful crimson bright orange so pretty very pretty my dog's laying next to me it's raining out. She does not like the rain. It's not that the, it's the rain that bothers her. It's the thunder that usually comes with it. So now, even if it doesn't thunder, she's like right next to me. She does not like it. I love the rain, but she don't. I love thunderstorms, but she don't. So... She came in, I heard it raining, and she came in here, so I grabbed a blanket, one of her favorite blankets, and here it's where she's at. As long as she's happy, I'm happy. All right, now we got the under the brow. But first, cross that off. I'm going to add a little bit more, is it the middle of the lid, number one. 
the sunset rose and touch that up a little bit more make it pop and then what was the inner crease number four was the crease so we're going to add a little bit more of that right there All right, and here it goes with the darkest shade. Sangria. Such a beautiful shade, too, but it's super, super dark. But that's okay. We'll make it work. Like I said, I just wish I had a beautiful shimmer to add. this I'm just bringing it all if you can get it to blend and then I will have to go off camera because I don't want this video to be forever I'm already at 16. I'll have to go off and do my mascara and whatnot. Or maybe fix my brows. To finish it off. What do y'all think? It's definitely colorful. It's definitely fall. <laughs> I actually like it. I think I'll like it better once I get everything else added. So I shall return. Alrighty, I'm back. And this is my finished look. I added some mascara, which I use. Um, it's a Lash Shack. It's actually one of my favorite mascaras. And then I topped it off with Lash Princess from Essence. And then I took a little bit. I can't remember. This is from Lele Posh. It's just a little. It's highlight. So I added some to my cheeks. And then I decided to just put a little right there. Not on my eyes. Just, you know, just to give it some pop. Because I didn't have any shimmer shades. I don't. I hope that's not breaking the rules. I don't think I broke the rules. I did everything. I put the shades everywhere I was supposed to. I just need a little bit of. Because I love shimmer. I love glitter. I needed to add a little bit of. Bam. <laughs> so to speak. And I actually like the way it came out. I did do my brows. And. Um, on my lips, I used, this is from Avon. It is called Merlot, I think. Yes. It's a Glimmer Sticks lip liner. And I love it. It's really pretty. It worked out perfect. And then I used this lipstick that I received from my Match Box subscription from Karen Ann MUA. Now it's just Karen Ann. Um, and I can't quite read it. It's very something, <laughs> but it's from beauty, beauty creations, beautiful lipstick. I love it. It's, I love berry shades anyway. So, and I think that's it. I was going to put lashes and then I was like, no, I don't need to go that far. I think it came out really nice. It's definitely fall shades. I hope y'all agree and I hope everyone likes it. Definitely leave a comment down below and let me know. And again, I want to say thank you so much to Lori for inviting me to this and also to Michelle for allowing me to be a part of this and I hope to continue to be a part of this. This was really, really fun. 
and definitely we will have a playlist down below but i will also have my partner arlene's video link down below as well go check out what she did i can't wait to see what she came up with i can't wait because it's her first time putting makeup on on camera so i'm excited i'm very very excited so anyway thank you so much to all of you thank you thank you thank you and with that i'm just gonna say what i always say please Remember to treat others the way you want to be treated and always be kind because you don't know what someone is struggling with. You just don't know. People are very good at keeping their emotions in check and hiding and pretending that they're okay when they're not. And a simple hello. I know that glitters is probably too much, but I said, why not? I'm going to make it fun. I'm going to make it a little bit of me in there. Um, but don't forget to be kind to yourself as well. That's why I love Mask Monday. It's a chance for me to pamper myself, do something nice for myself. And with that, I'm just going to say, go watch the other ladies. I can't wait to. So anyway, until the next one, mwah, much love to all of you. Big hugs. And until the next one, peace out.